Hi, JK friends. It's Miss Elias. And today for language arts, we are going to have a phonological awareness lesson. Let's talk about what phonological awareness means. That means that we're listening to words. We're listening to the way that they sound. So we are listening for syllables. Remember syllables, what we clap out and count. We're also listening for the letter sounds in words at the beginning and the middle and at the end of words. That's part of phonological awareness. We're also listening for rhyming words. And poems are a great way to talk about a lot of ways to listen to how words sound. I'm here with my new pet, Rabbit, to read a poem with you called The Rabbit. This is a poem about a girl that gets a pet rabbit and learns how to take care of it. And at the end, you are going to write your own book about taking care of a pet. The Rabbit, written by Dina Anastasio, illustrated by Angela Comstra Jacobson. Last year I got a rabbit. Its ears were pink and white. Its nose is soft and black and damp. It sleeps with me at night. Let's say that one more time and listen for the rhyming words. Whenever we hear the second word of a rhyming pair, we're going to tap our hands or our paws on our heads. Last year, I got a rabbit. Its ears were pink and white. Its nose is soft and black and damp. It sleeps with me at night. White, night, nice. At first, I didn't have a clue of what my pet should eat or if I'd need to buy a leash to walk him down the street. Eat, street. Rabbits don't eat pizza. I hadn't guessed that rabbits could be taught to come and go from cage to lap and back again, but now I've come to know. Go? No. Wait a minute. Can you come and go? Come here. Go away. Come back. <gasps> Pretty cool. Rabbits are the best of pets. They're gentle and quite clever. With time and patience, they can learn to conquer each endeavor. So that means that rabbits can learn how to do new things, can challenge themselves. Let's look for those rhyming words. Clever, and then the next the last part of endeavor. This rabbit can do tricks. Can you do tricks? <gasps> nice. So now it's one year later, I've learned how to tell if my rabbit's happy and if he's sick or well. Tell well, and I think it's time for us to check on our rabbit. It's okay, don't be scared. Let's go over our care checklist. Take your temperature. 
<gasps> You're healthy. I bet you guessed my secret. I learned how in a book. The title was Your Rabbit. That's it. That's all it took. Book took. And I've been reading this book about rabbits. Also, I have a question for you, rabbit. Want to do some yoga together after this? Well, I'm excited about that. All right, friends, I have one more thing to let you know. You are going to think about any pet that you have or that you want. And I want you to think what would go in that book. The girl in our poem has a book called Your Rabbit. So if you are making a book about But if you want to think of another pet, that's okay. Maybe you could write about a pet dog. You would call it your dog or your cat or your bird or your alligator, your choice. And you would think what kind of things would be good, healthy choices to feed that pet? What would not be a good healthy choice? How would you want to take care of that pet? Make sure that your pet is healthy and happy. And what kind of fun activities would you want to do with your pet? Think about it, draw pictures, and make a how to care for your pet book. I hope you had a lot of fun reading this poem with me and my pet rabbit, because we sure did. Bye, JK friends. I hope you're having a great day.